Elon Musk has revealed the firm's production facility for its much-anticipated Model 3 will look like an alien dreadnought. Musk has said the facility, which is separate from the firm's Gigafactory, will be the machine that makes the machine, and told analysts it will stun people. It's like, what the hell is that? said Musk. Musk revealed the in-house term for the manufacturing advancement he hopes to introduce is alien dreadnought. The point at which that's what the factory looks like, that's when you know you've won. He also revealed the line will evolve in stages. By version 3, it won't look like anything else, he said. You can't have people in the production line itself, otherwise you drop to people speed. So there will be no people in production process itself. People will maintain the machines, upgrade them, and deal with anomalies. However, there will still be people working in the factory, though, mostly overseeing the robots and making sure everything is running at peak efficiency. Although the Model 3 will not be assembled there, Tesla recently unveiled the Gigafactory that will make the batteries for it. The factory is about 14% complete, but when it's finished, it will be about 10 million square feet, or about the size of 262 NFL football fields. That will make it one of the largest buildings in the world. The factory is key to the future of Palo Alto, California-based Tesla. The 13-year-old electric car company, which has never made a full-year profit, wants to transition from a niche maker of luxury vehicles to a full-line maker of affordable cars, pickups and even semi-trucks. It also runs Tesla Powerwall, a solar energy storage business for homes and businesses. The company says making its own lithium-ion batteries at the scale the Gigafactory will allow will reduce its battery costs by more than a third by 2018. Tesla CEO Elon Musk said the factory could easily employ 10,000 people in the next three to four years. The factory is the machine that builds the machine, Musk told Wired. Most immediately, Tesla needs the batteries for its fourth car, the Model 3 sedan, which is scheduled to go on sale at the end of next year. At a starting price of around $35,000, the Model 3 will be Tesla's least expensive vehicle, partly because of battery cost reductions. The batteries for Tesla's current vehicles, the Model S sedan and Model X SUV, are made in Japan. Tesla unveiled the Model 3 at the end of March. Within a week, more than 325,000 people had put down a $1,000 deposit to reserve the car. After seeing that level of demand, Tesla moved its production plans forward. The company now says it will make 500,000 vehicles per year by 2018, two years earlier than scheduled. To meet that goal, Gigafactory construction is proceeding at a furious pace. Inside the factory, Tesla's partner, Panasonic Corporation, which has invested $1.6 billion into the factory, is installing machines and sealed humidity-controlled rooms that will start making battery cells before the end of this year. Panasonic is also shipping cells from Japan to the Powerwall business, which is operating in another section of the factory. Robots are used to place battery packs into home and office units, which store energy from solar panels and allow users to tap it during peak periods. Musk said the Powerwall business will initially make up about one-third of the Gigafactory's output but eventually could expand to around half. Outside, nearly 1,000 workers are laying the groundwork for the factory's expansion, digging trenches and erecting steel supports in the hot, dusty valley. By the second quarter of 2017, 31% of the factory will be completed. Eventually, the roof will be covered in solar panels. Musk noted that some of the area's 10,000 wild horses often drink from the ponds at the construction site. Nevada won the factory thanks in part to $1.3 billion in tax incentives, which will benefit Tesla over a 20-year period. I find this to be quite romantic, he said. It feels like the Wild West. The factory's name stems from Giga, a unit of measurement that represents billions. One gigawatt hour is the equivalent of generating 1 billion watts for one hour, one million times that of one kilowatt hour. Tesla says the factory will be producing 35 gigawatt hours of batteries by 2018. That's the equivalent to the entire world's production in 2014.
Tesla CEO Elon Musk has said the factory has the capacity to produce 150 gigawatt hours if it needs to. To put that in context, New York City uses around 52 gigawatt hours of energy per year. Analysts say bringing battery production in-house, instead of buying batteries like General Motors Company and other major automakers do, can help bring down costs, but also leaves Tesla exposed. If the Model 3 is delayed, for example, or customers' deposits don't turn into actual sales, Tesla will have extra batteries on its hands and no way to recoup its costs. They could be left with a lot of excess capacity in the near term, said Sam Abu Ilsimid, an analyst with Navigant Research. Abu Ilsimid says there's also the possibility that advances in battery technology in the longer term could force Tesla to make expensive new investments. There are also competitors who could derail Tesla's dreams. Chinese automaker BYD Co., which is backed by Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway Corporation, also makes batteries and energy storage systems and is already building battery-powered buses in the U.S. The company hopes to bring low-cost electric cars to the U.S. in a few years. Musk says there are still plenty of ways for Tesla to reduce costs, including making its factories more efficient and eventually building more battery factories in Europe, China and other regions where its cars are sold. The company also is using a different type of battery cell in the Model 3 than it did in the Model S and Model X in an effort to reduce costs. The official invitation sent by Tesla via email went out to existing Tesla owners that participated in the company's fourth referral program by referring four or more qualifying sales. Lucky owners will be given a tour of the new facility, and are expected to be shown the latest progress of the firm's Model 3 car. Guests will be allowed test drives and factory tours before and after the remarks at 9 p.m. However, Tesla has not mentioned the test drive vehicles. Recent drone footage gave a glimpse of the vast structure. The 4K footage shows little progress on the exterior of the building, but Tesla appears to have been working on the area around the plant. Filmed using a DJI Phantom 4 drone, it reveals more building sections covered in white reflective roofing as well as a paved parking lot. Musk said the Gigafactory and its Fremont facility would produce more lithium-ion batteries in a year than were produced in the entire world in 2013. In terms of sheer size, the Gigafactory is second in volume only to Boeing's airplane factory in Washington. But when it comes to how much ground it covers, Tesla's upcoming factory is the largest in the world. This is a vital element. Musk said in his presentation of the Model 3. To give you a sense of scale, the Gigafactory will have the largest footprint of any building of any kind. Our Fremont factory in the past has actually made 500,000 cars a year, so we're confident Tesla can achieve that in the future in terms of vehicle production, he said. I think that's going to be, I wouldn't say straightforward, but very doable. But what about batteries? In order to produce half a million cars a year, we basically need to absorb the entire world's lithium production that's the entire reason we're building the Gigafactory. It will produce more lithium-ion batteries than all other factories in the world combined. We will also be producing the most advanced cell in the world. The Gigafactory is now producing battery packs but not yet creating the cells inside, Musk revealed. The huge project is part of the billionaire's plan to drive down the cost of electric cars and create home battery packs to provide cheaper electricity. The Model 3 costs $35,000 in the U.S., half the baseline price of the 2015 Model S. Its lower price tag is thanks largely to cheaper battery packs that can be created by the Gigafactory. Tesla previously assembled its battery packs with cells made in Japan by Panasonic. But now the companies have teamed up on creating the factory in Nevada. The latest video follows footage, uncovered by Bloomberg last year, which showed how construction work was progressing. Musk tweeted at the time that what the drone footage shows is not the full Gigafactory, it is just the pilot plant site preparation began in July at an industrial park along U.S. Interstate 80 15 miles east of Sparks, a Reno suburb. The aim is to produce enough batteries to power 500,000 vehicles a year when it is fully completed and produce a power source that can also be installed in gadgets such as toys and drones. Production is currently based in Fremont, California, 
but the plant does not have the capacity to serve the company's future production needs. The site will also help produce a revolutionary $3,000 battery which Musk claims can run an entire home for eight hours. Musk introduced the Powerwall device at a press conference in California last year and said the technology could change the world. Since it unveiled its home battery plans, Tesla says it has been so overwhelmed by initial demand that it is now exploring whether it can expand production at the battery gigafactory. Last week. Tesla said that it is ahead of its production and construction schedule for the Gigafactory in Reno, Nevada. Even though Reno has attracted big businesses such as Apple and Amazon, there is concern the city's infrastructure will not be able to cope with the increase in demand. But it recently emerged that the Nevada battery plant is creating jobs more slowly than first projected, although state officials say it's still making satisfactory progress. A progress report issued last week by the Nevada Governor's Office of Economic Development said there were 272 people working at the Tesla and Panasonic factories at the end of the year. That's lower than the 700 jobs initially projected for the end of 2015, according to a September 2014 report available to state lawmakers when they were deciding whether to approve a $1.3 billion tax incentive package for Tesla. In its application to the state for abatements, the company refined its annual job creation projections to more accurately reflect that the construction of the Gigafactory would be completed in phases instead of all at once as the state's economic impact report initially projected, Economic Development Office spokeswoman Jennifer Cooper said in a statement. While this will be reflected in the quarterly reports that the company submits to GOAD, it does not alter the anticipated investment of at least $3.5 billion or the employment of 6,500 and once the factory reaches full production. Nevada landed the factory after an intense competition between several states. Economic development officials said the Gigafactory has started shipping out battery packs and power walls. Tesla reported it had invested $374 million in capital in Nevada so far below the early prediction of $1 billion by the end of 2015. During the last three months of 2015, there were an average of 894 construction workers at the site each week, 74% of whom were Nevada residents.